Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at how you can program the performance settings for the Boeing 787. Uh, currently, we're using the aircraft and avionics update number two, which has some, uh, or some, which has a lot of improvements, including the performance part, which has improved, right? So that's cool. Uh, so what we're gonna do in this case is uh, we're gonna take it from scratch, right? So the aircraft, as I would say, I just started the aircraft, or enable the battery etc so i'm going to show you where you can find the performance settings because there are two methods uh, the first one is by going to the fmc com page and then pressing the perf page which will bring you to the perf page and there you can see the view which it sends which means that the view which is in the aircraft we've got the cruise altitude the cost index uh, the cruise center of gravity uh, the reserves uh, and the zero fuel weight of course and those are the values which we need to i would say program it looks like that in the future they will bring some more functionality here because it says also perf in its request which means or at least i do think that they will add some new functionality here where you can simply press this button and it will simply allow you to automatically program the performance settings but that's i would say an estimated guess i'm not sure about that uh, the other method, of course, is by going to the full page, which means that you do the position in it, uh, you do the route, and then go to the perf in it. The cool thing about this new update is that you uh, can, say, calculate certain values automatically, right? Uh, what I've done in this case is I've uh, loaded the flight plan in this uh, scenario from um, uh, Porto to Brussels. Uh, using Simbrief and it will give me all the values, right? So that's that's cool because you can also see the extra view and you can see the alternate view, the block view, and you can also see the zero fuel weight, uh, etc. However, uh, what you can see here is that it's in pounds, right? While these values are in kilogram. The cool thing, however, is that uh, if you're going to uh, this nice button, right? That's the left button number three. You can press it and it will pre-populate the value here and you can press it again. And that will make sure that the value is now pre-populated. The between brackets weird thing is that they didn't enable it for uh, the reserves, right? So if you press reserves, it will say, hey, you've got an inv invalid entry. Well, yeah, that makes sense because I didn't push anything into it. Uh, but what you could do is enter a value uh, over there. But in that case, you need to, I'd say, calculate the uh, the kilogram to LB value, right? So that's something which you need to be aware of. There are multiple sites which allow you to do that. Uh, you can even, I would say, do it uh, by uh, using your favorite browser and then search for LB to KG and then will you know, give you the values which you need to enter. Uh, in this case, according to the information I have, it should be uh, 4559, but it looks to me a little bit too much, to be honest. Uh, so let me have another look. Uh, yes, well, here we are again. Uh, so let's enter 45 in that case and then let's see if it accepts the value well it accepted the value right uh, if so you, the value is incorrect right for some reason uh, then it will show you directly uh, showing the error message which we got earlier then we've got the uh, uh, cruise altitude right which is currently set to uh, flight level 360 uh, but if you look in in this case in uh, Navigraph it will tell you that the flight level is a little bit higher right so I can show it here so i'm gonna load the flight plan and then we're gonna go to the options screen come on and it shows me it's at three three eight and then triple zero so i'm gonna add it over here by pushing the buttons over here three eight and one two three that's the cruise altitude. And as soon as you did that, you see that both the execute button here as well as here it was being illuminated, which means that you need to press it to activate these settings. But before doing that, we're gonna also add the cost index, right, 160, uh, cost index, uh, which is good. Uh, and we've got the uh, cruise uh, center of gravity. Is it listed here somewhere? Uh, in this case, I don't think it is. So we're gonna, try to automatically populate it and yes it works again so again push it again and that will allow you to automatically provide that value so now we're going to hit execute 
to make sure that everything is correctly set. So what you just saw is that it became a lot easier, right, to program these uh, settings, at least the initial page. So if we go to the uh, trust limit, right, you can select the uh, the temperature. Uh, you can populate it or not uh, if you want. Uh, you can change the takeoff speeds. You can change the uh, different options over here. Uh, but we will leave it for now default, right? You can choose to change it uh, depending on if you are selecting different ones. So currently you see that this one is armed, right? But if you would select this one, you would see it says, okay, in that case, climb is uh, selected. So it will automatically change the options for takeoff and for climb. The cool thing about uh, the rest of the stuff is that it also kind of automatically, right? So in this case, it says, hey, you're taking off from runway uh, 35. You can see that it already uh, loaded the uh, the weight, uh, which is cool. And then we've got the flaps, right? So if we want to set the flaps to 15, right, which is the, uh, uh, the angle of the flaps we're going to use, uh, then we're going to use this button. And that one says, okay, hey, I don't know what you're trying to do, right? So here it says uh, degrees Celsius uh, take off. Well, I'm not sure what I need to enter here. Uh, but I'm going to leave it like, like that. And I'm going to enter the uh, center of gravity. And once you've done that, it will tell you FMC uh, pre-flight complete, right? So it tells you, hey, you don't need to add anything else. However, what you can do is you can set the V1, the VR, and the V2 by simply pressing the buttons over here. Uh, let's see. It, again, right? So you only need to press it once. And, so, and that's, I would say, kind of weird because in some cases you need to press it twice while in some other positions or other fields you need to enter it uh, first. Then we'll populate the value over here and after that it will uh, configure the values over here. So if we can go to page 2, you can define the wind, uh, the runway wind uh, and the wind uh, direction, etc. You can find uh, define the throttle reduction, right? So that's where it starts to reduce and other data which you might want to uh, populate. Uh, this of course all depends on the weather which is currently active, right? Which you can always get via the ATC. So if you open the uh, control tower or the ATC, you can uh, select ATIS and ATIS will tell you exactly uh, what, it, what the weather is, right? So in this case, that's okay, wind calm, uh, visibility nine, Sky condition, the temperature, of course, uh, dew points, uh, the altimeter, the LS runway, which is in use, then the landing and departure, runway 35, VFR aircraft. Right, so it contains all the information. Of course, you could also use the meter information, right? The meter information is the weather which you will, can get from the uh, from depending on the airport, you can get back from, an, uh, say, station close to the airport. And that will allow you to program either the uh, or both the wind uh, direction and the speed. And uh, based on that, I would say it makes it more accurate, right? So in this case, I'm not going to pro uh, program it, right? So... I'm going to request taxi because I'm kind of ready for takeoff, right? So this is how you can use the new performance settings uh, in the aircraft. As you can see, you can also set the takeoff here, right? You can also go to the individual pages directly. So once you're done with perf and you decide, hey, I want to change something in the takeoff or approach, or mainly to the takeoff in this case, you can get in, go directly to that one and make the changes uh, where needed. So here ends this video where we looked at the new performance settings and the new way of how you can program the performance settings in the Boeing 787 uh, after aircraft or avionics and aircraft update number two. So a lot of new cool things which makes it easier. Uh, so I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post the comment box. So then feel free to post them in the comment box below. Try to speak a little bit too fast. And if you want to stay up to date about new versions of posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you again.